Hey folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Master Ryan 2! We are the Hipsters, and we're in war with a few people here. Uh, although I still kind of like our odds. As far as I know, we're the first people to deploy Titans onto the battlefields. And I think that's going to be quite good. Uh, the Clacons are who we're mostly focusing on. We're technically in war against the Silicoids, although they're pretty far away. They do have Zord Stream armor. They have Disruptors and Phasers. Like, the Clacons actually have decent tech. They don't have any shields, though. Um, and point defense-wise, point defense phasers, they do have ECM jammers, but it still doesn't seem to be too bad for us. Some misses there, which is good. We took a little bit of damage there, but our missiles are arriving. Fast missiles tanking the point defense, and there we go. Um, and I'm just going to drop all the bombs here as well, because we actually don't have that many infantry with this army. Oh, it's framed! For stealing again. It's not us, man. It's not us. Okay, so we're going to hear one turn. Good. So, actually, our troop transports are going to slow, or maybe because they don't have a leader. Speaking of leaders, really our leaders should be on the large ships. And you were never deployed, so let's do that as well. It's going to take you five turns. But yeah, at least uh, Tulok is on a bigger, beefier ship right now, which should hopefully keep him a little bit safer. One battle fleet and this planet, okay, have no static defenses, so they'll just retreat after one round again. Would be nice to get kills. That's one of the things with missiles. You don't often get a chance to get the actual kills. We're going to invade here. With the fuel cells we've got, we actually probably don't need it for range. But it is a good system, so I would like to keep it. Another multi-bear was completed. Now, we're definitely above our command limit. Will the stock exchange for some more money? Other than that, I think I'll build some more spies because we could probably use some. Either that or more transport ships, but I think for now it's going to be okay. Hello, Draconis. Uh, we're going to be planning a automated factory. A, I guess Recyclotron, although it's going to take a while before you actually get the uh, benefits from uh, having a high population. Astro Renewer, Hollow Simulator, then you can go into Battle Station and then build some housing. And uh, we might transfer some people over there, actually. Let's, oops, not planet. Not bad. I guess I still have a colony ship, don't I? Um, let's just grab a couple people from here and send them there. Well, let's stay a little closer to home. We'll grab Tukin with the colony ship. That's going to be okay. All right, wait one turn. Now our fleet is all grouped up. Actually, there's still this guy, but I think we can push as is. Um, there's a little fleet over here. Oh, it's moving back to Zueg. Now, they're moving quite slow because of the uh, nebula here. It's taking five turns. It's only going to take us one because we actually ignore the nebula because of our leader, which is going to be really useful here. And we're just keep autoing the combat right now because things seem pretty okay. I guess there's um, probably because of the computer speed. The, the, even with fast combat turned off, things happen pretty fast. Let's find an invasion here. Oh, they do have pretty good combat skill. Like, I don't even care about this. Yeah, the, the galaxy population keeps growing. And we didn't have as many votes for us anymore, so... It's not gonna go quite as well. Um... So we got some things. Let's build those and those. That, that. I'll put the Recyclotron first. We'll stay here because we got another planet, plus they are coming in this direction. You're about to colonize that, which is great. And also, Butane. I'm going to buy the Astro University here and accelerate that. And Draconis actually will buy this. And yeah, this coming in... Well, I mean, I suppose we could buy the Recyclotron here for some passive production on Olor. Yeah. I mean, I could have moved some things over just to get the full discount, but we're pretty good on money right now. I'm okay with sitting on it, though, so that we can respond and purchase a, uh, a ship somewhere as needed. Now, our ships don't get auto-upgraded to the latest shield tech. So we will have to do a refit if we want to take advantage of it. Um, I'm just going to bombard this one. Because we already have one planet in the system. And yes, we'll settle Tukin over here. Excellent. It is poor, but that's not really a big deal. Automated factory. I mean, I guess 
put that in right away anyway. Da, 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 da. And buy that. Okay. Oops, antimatter torpedoes, I think we just stole. I was in the middle of a click when it came up, but I think that's what it was. Um, tech review? Weapons? Antimatter torpedoes. So, torpedoes and missiles, I think, work differently. I can't remember if torpedoes can still be shot down. I want to say yes, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's the main war fleet. Well, we can interrupt it. Intercept it. That's going to be a much scarier combat. It's a good thing we have the Dauntless Guidance System. Do I actually want to engage them? We know they have half-decent tech, but their ships might not reflect that. I suppose I can just buy out this battle station, huh? Oh, so close. I could sell some buildings or something, but no. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm not going to initiate combat if they don't want to fight. Ah, oh, the interns are back! Ugh. Settlers arrived. Oh, the blockade is on. They're not willing to engage. Interesting. All right, then we will engage them. Oh, they attacked Zweig. Oh, over here. Oh, did they leave? All right, well, that's fine. Do I only have the two transports? So we lost the colony to the Antarans, but there's really nothing we could do about that. Okay, we'll take this planet first, and actually invade it. And the other ones will just get blown up. Die. Oh, wow. Eh, they're taking some extra volleys here. Mm, yeah, so invade. Clicky. Hard shield tech. That's going to be very useful. Um, let's see. Planetary flux shield. Right, this is the same as our radiation shields. So we don't care about that. It prevents bombardment damage. We don't really care. Wide area jammer. Right, you put it on one ship and it protects all the ships in the fleet, which is kind of nice. But I think what I'll do is I'll unlock the class 7 shields. Especially with the hard shields, that is actually going to do some great things for us. Okay, spies finished over here. <coughs> Excuse me! <coughs> and again! Okay! <clears throat> Everything's fine here. Ha! Huh. Um... I'm going to start dumping production to the battle station immediately. So that way we can be, buy it at a discount as, as soon as possible. Spies done here. Let's get some more transport ships. Please and thank you. And they're heading towards Draconis. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave Sharu immediately and head to Draconis. Housing finished. Oh, this is a poor planet. You know, I think that's the thing to do is this. Maybe I'll leave a few people in here uh, just to help with the Recyclotron setup. And then you can get a bunch of spies and then we'll probably pull the uh, pull that out. All right, yeah, we're not going to... Oh, yeah, well, the one destroyer will be forced to flee immediately. Oh, for beam weapons so that we can kill these guys before they retreat. At least it'll limit their numbers. Do they have the ability to redirect their ships? I think they do. They have the communication thing that lets them redirect their ships. Dang. Which I don't have. Because they were definitely coming here. Oh, I got attack here. Now, I wonder if they'll stick around and defend the starbase. So they have their battleships here. Zortrim armor, antimatter torps, plasma cannons, disruptors. Lots of fusion bombs, which is not going to help them win the fight. I think this is overall best for us. 
And it's a good thing we have the retargeting of the missiles. Because uh, the, with the auto mode, I wouldn't do this combat in auto normally. Um, with the, the torpedoes. And I'd have to spread things out and actually do a fair amount of guessing to see how things would end up. Uh, but here, if the AI fires all those missiles at the same target, it's not a bad thing. It also helps with these guys who are retreating. The missiles aren't wasted. They'll just go and retarget the Starbase. So I'm not surprised that they're running. Again, it would be great to have some beam weapons now to prevent them from doing the run. On the other hand, the missiles are cheap and very effective. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to soften this up until there's no more infantry. And then we'll invade. Because they had like plus 45 or something, I really didn't want to risk it even with one. Astro University and the Recyclotron do the same at first. I'm not going to invest here right now. Okay, you're coming to Sharu. You'll get there in one turn, and then you'll be forced to flee. And then hopefully we can still get to Draconis in a timely fashion. Okay, just auto and run. I think there's like, is it Zed? There's a hotkey for like super duper mega fast board, which we might use for these because we know how it's going to end. Um, engineers, so this is free repair. Helmsman security operations, combat rating, defensive bonus, weaponry. Yeah, all right, I'll hire Mystic X. Uh, you want Iridium fuel cells. I don't mind giving that away. Um... Mega fluxers. Oh, we want that. I mean, the dimensional portal, ultimately, we want it to win. Um, but we can still research it ourselves. I don't know which one of these has, like, you know, conflict. Like, at, you know, other techs we're going to want at that level. I think dimensional portals might have, like, the the other jump gates. Not because we were, we skipped over one of the jump gate techs, but there's another one that's kind of crazy. I don't know. I'm going to grab the mega fluxers. Because it's going to be really nice. Then I'm going to head this, this fleet over to Draconis. Oh, are you coming for me again? Yep, yeah, they're coming to Tukin, which I probably can't defend. Because these, these fleets are getting bigger and bigger with every invasion. Um, it's possible that a battle station... With, it, with hardened shields, actually, it might do okay. I'm going to go ahead and buy that out. Maybe we can save Tukin. Yeah, Zed is super duper fast combat mode because they're just going to run anyway. Aha! There you go. We stole the dimensional portal tech, which is great because that is definitely something we, we need to, to win the hard way or win the better way, which is invade the Antarans back, which is the way you really like to do it. Um, yeah, we don't need to build a dimensional portal because there's no reason to rush that at all. Uh, I think what we do is we build another multi-bear. Well, maybe what I'll do, first of all, is open this up, make sure we get the latest model, actually. Antimatter torpedo. Oh, yeah, they fire every other turn. That's true. You know what? I think for now, we're just going to go ahead and load you up with more of the Merculites, but this has been upgraded for the shields and a little bit of miniaturization, which is nice. We'll get the new multi-bear in there. Runner, I think the same thing's going to happen with you, the new multi-bear. Okay. Let's get all our transports to rendezvous at Draconis. We're going to hope that two can survive. Oh, they're going to Sharu. So we'll make sure to block... Class 7 shields. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, that's getting pretty expensive. Uh, Multi-phase shields. If our shields are good, and they are, multi-phase shields are pretty good. Phaser rifle helps with our ground combat. I think we'll get the multi-phase shields and try to incorporate them into our vessels. Alright, go, go. Three battleships, which almost certainly will run away immediately. Would be nice to get some kills. Okay. So they're hitting with particle beams, which normally ignore shields, the particle beams. But we now have hardened shields, 
which get equipped on our battle stations, so our shields actually do something, and they are level 7. So this actually might be enough to um, withstand this. The big problem is we don't have a big offensive power, but we should be pretty tanky. Yeah, he's weirdly splitting in its attacks. Boom. A little bit of damage to the others. Yeah, battle station's not breaking, so we're going to be fine. Should have plenty of missiles, and it still has its beams. Nice. Okay. And this is why we save up huge amounts of money. And we stole the plasma web tech. So that is interesting, because, yeah, it... it puts it on them, and then they, they take damage over time with the Plasma Web. I don't usually use them, but they are kind of nifty. So I guess my fleet has to stay here. Actually, I think what we're going to do is we're going to rendezvous in Draconis, because if we can get a leader here, we don't have to waste a ton of time going through the nebula. But yeah, the fleet has to stay at Sharu. So we can defend it against here. Again, I do expect them to just run, which is exactly what happened. And we stole a Graviton Beams. These are great mid-game weapons. We're, we're past that now, and um, we, you know, really... I, I don't regret focusing on missiles. I think that was an excellent play. But the Graviton Beams are quite good, because they deal structural damage and things. Gravity Generator Hollow Simulator. And we'll do Terraforming into housing. Actually, terraforming into soil enrichment, because as your population grows, they'll become farmers, which they were just were, but these will be better farmers, and then you can house to fill yourself up, and that's going to be okay here. Uh, okay, so there's no more offensive uh, moves, which is great. So we'll move to Zenith and be ready to take that. Out of curiosity, can I reach everywhere? Yes, okay. So I actually don't have to conquer anything anymore. I could just nuke things if I don't care for the planet. Yeah, medium, ocean, poor. Yeah, we'll just super fast auto this, because that's going to be fine. And yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and drop all our bombs. Missiles do count as bombs, just less efficiently. Um, and I think in space combat... Maybe we don't need the, the bombs at all. Maybe the missiles were fine the entire time. I'm not sure. Do I want to build a multi-bear? Actually, I think what I'm going to do is build some spies here. And then maybe another multi-bear. Okay, hold on. Is one of these in the officer pool? Oh, yes, rear admiral mystic. Let's go put you on here, please. And yeah, I would like more defensive spies than this. Um, we should actually get a report on the silicoids. How are they doing on tech? We still have things worth stealing. Well, we still like maybe the anti-missile rockets. Maybe we don't need the planetary missile base. I want and the jump gates would be beautiful as well. So yeah, actually, let's actually focus on you guys. Those are techs I would really like. Um, can I get back to Sharu in one turn? I cannot. So I guess I'm just going to have to blast what's left of Zenith. Yeah, if you want to destroy that place, I don't actually care too much. Although I guess it might impact our reach, but we can just take something else over. Oh, they just did damage to Sharu and then they moved on. Okay. Let's go to half. Actually, I'm wondering if I should target their uh, homeworld first. You are going to come to Draconis as well. We are rapidly uh, starting to lose, like, in terms of command points over here. Um, so we might start to get economic problems at some point, but not yet. Multi-phase shields, phaser tech, which we stole. Okay, the plasma cannon, this is really good, because it hits all four shields at the same time. It deals huge amounts of damage. It doesn't want to be quite close, but it does deal a lot of damage. It might be worth grabbing one plasma rifle tech. Um... Because I don't think we're going to be basing our tech around plasma cannons. Uh, we don't need to research dimensional portal, so we'll be getting disruptor cannons over here, which are pretty nifty. So yeah, so we'll grab the plasma rifle, which will help our grand ground combat. Which is actually kind of relevant, perhaps. So the coins have probably increased their spy defense stuff. And yeah, we might just keep the fleet around Draconis for now, just to encourage them to not attack us there. Okay, large, barren, abundant. This, I wouldn't mind grabbing. So we are going to conquer this system, this planet. I'll invade immediately to keep the buildings intact as much as possible. We'll probably lose a little bit. And yeah, we lost three. And we learned food replicator tech. Hmm. So yeah, this, I believe, automatically makes 
builds the food that you need to feed your population by consuming the production. But it's two to one, which is worse than the uh, Lithivores, which is one to one. Still, it's going to be a way to um, to pad things out nicely. And we stole the jump gate tech. This is really good. So controlled warm hole between two points. Increase the speed of ships moving through it by three parsecs per turn. All colonies automatically get one. So um, moving between our own colonies just got a hell of a lot faster. Later on, there's another tech that makes it instant between your colonies. Well, one turn. Always, no matter the distance. You want planetary stock exchange. I don't mind trading that. Um, I don't remember the Robo Miners. I said I was going to research it. Or no, I skipped the Robo Miners for something else. I would love Robo Miners. Battle Scanner's not bad either, once we do beamy things. Oh, this place is blockaded. Well, I mean, you could use the food replicators, but I don't know. Astro University uh, Recyclotron Battle Station. Oh, that's Steinbeck, because they've yeah, right, so still got some, some ships over here. That's what's going on. Except they've left now, but there we go. So this other planet, I'm just going to go and nuke from orbit so I can keep my infantry for a more valuable one, since we already control something in the system anyway. Survival pod tech. So that's not bad. It means our officers are less likely to get killed in combat, unless you get completely wiped. Uh, I guess we'll go to Anchat first. I'm betting we can take Gotti with this fleet. Two multi-bears? Yeah, that's going to be fine. Oh, we're just going to go for the full blow-up over here. And bombard. Good. And then we've got a homeworld to conquer. And we're definitely going to want to conquer it. So there you go. Large, ocean, abundant... Oh, okay. So this is interesting. This isn't a nebula, so we don't actually get our shields here. Um, unless we had hardened shields, but I don't think any of these ships have it. It's possible we'll lose some, but on the other hand, they don't have any shields either. Okay, we have to do some bombarding, because I think I would lose with that number. Okay, let's do this. We got a 4 to 1 number. This is going to be more than fine. It'd be great if we have our new, uh, our, our new um, rifles, but... Oh. I'll vote for myself. Still not going to be enough. Although, notice the number of votes went down, because there's less population in the galaxy for some reason. Maybe it's because we keep nuking everything from orbit. Okay. They've got pirates over here. Also, did they regain a system? Ah, oh, Steinbach was liberated by rebels. Now, that is annoying. Plant first. And they've got so we've still got a planet here. And they're sending some dudes over. We're just gonna nuke this planet. Good. And then I'm gonna have to go over here. Oh, Trailerians are orbiting here. Hmm. I wouldn't mind conquering this planet. Starbase, I think, should be fine. Now, you can cancel the auto. It's kind of annoying, though. Like, you can try to click it, but it can be really hard to manage it. Um, okay, we got to soften these guys up, but I do actually want to take this system. There we go. Four to one seems okay. Invade. I only got plus five combat? Wait, what? Huh, why is that? Why am I not plus 25? Were some of the penalties not applying before because of the... Some of the gravity in some places? I don't know. What do you want? Non-aggression pact. I accept. Yeah, that's true. I could have tried that earlier after we broke the alliance. Thank you for being conquered. Good job. Um, Robo Miner Plant. Maybe the Recyclotron. Astro University. This. Battle Station. Work on some housing. Multi-bear here is done. We're just going to grab this. 
Um, and you know what? Actually, I think we're going to move you over to research. We don't need more ships right now. Now, we are going to want some ships to take on the Orion system. Maybe this site. And... Uh, well, I don't want to fail an invasion. There we go. See, plus 45 over here. Oh, it's because of Rear Animal Tulloch! That's why they're always, they're always better. Okay. There you go! Clackons are no more, so we don't have to worry about their fleets that were buzzing around. And Plasma Tech done. Do I just grab the Disruptor Cannon and start planning that way? Um, actually, I think what we're going to do is we're going to work our way up Robotics for a tick. Or, do I want to go down Sociology? Or even Biology. We can get our Genetic Modification stuff. Or Heightened Intelligence. Actually, let's do that. Uh, we're going to get the Weather Control System. In case we turn out to need a bunch of food, I don't think so. Um, Sparky's really good if you don't already have Advanced Damage Control, but we do. And otherwise, he's not that sexy. By the way, you can hire them and then immediately um, get rid of them. If, uh, if you're just doing it for the tech, I'm pretty sure you get it immediately. Maybe you have to keep on to them for a while, but I don't think so. I think you do just get it immediately. So we'll go and get some random production boosters over here. Battle station housing, something like that. So there's still a little bit of rebellion brewing. I don't know if they can respawn the clackons or not. Oh, huge negative food. Now, we're still at war with the silicoids, who are in red. Uh, and Yen is connected to Zaman, so it seems like the thing to do right now is to pull all my fleets to Zaman. First of all, it would suck to lose it. But then, yeah, use this as an attack vector against the Silicoid stuff. And actually, what we're going to need is a bunch more uh, ground people. A Sharu? What the heck's going on over here? With this cute. That was weird. Did a bunch of random buildings just get killed and we lost people from the rebellion? That might have been what happened there. I know we're short on food, but I'm still going to go and do those. We've got some transports, but we'll probably want more, so I'm going to just get started on that. I suppose I could build them in Zaman, it would be slightly more convenient, because I wouldn't have to move them over. It's not really a big deal. Weather control system. So, Psionics is really good for spy bonus, and morale increases. Although, that's only for dictatorships and their upgraded government, which is Imperium. Um, if, if, if we could get the morale bonus, I think it'd be worth grabbing. But here, I don't think we need the spy as much as just plus one for all scientists, which is kind of insanely good. And we stole biospheres, which I don't think we're going to be in a hurry to build. Although, I mean, two extra pop on each planet is still pretty good. Ah, oh, shit, the silicoids are coming to Colum? That is kind of annoying. I don't suppose we can afford an instant battle station over here, can we? Oh, we can. All right, well, let's do that. They might still be able to bash us, but... Now, we do move quite quickly between our bases, but we're still having to wait one more turn for these guys to show up. Four turns. Well, maybe. And you know what? From here, we can mount an attack on their actual system, so I guess we will still plan on that. Okay, new spies over here. Uh, Little Miner Plant. Drossel. I mean, they're abundant, I suppose, but let's move you over to tech. Then Runner Prime. Yeah, this is the one that's poor. Uh, oh, we'll just throw this in the queue. And then I'll throw in a bunch of spies as well. Then we're going okay defensively. Trilarians, how's your tech? Xeon missiles, planetary supercomputer. Not a whole lot of exciting stuff. 
But I think I'll throw some spies in on you anyway. Alright, let's hope we can save Colo. Uh, Cloning Center. That's not a bad tech. I, I might not care about micromanaging. Now, this is the one. Xeon Missiles. Yeah, baby. And they actually should be slightly miniaturized as well. Or no, maybe this level was the Xeon Missiles. Okay. Well, actually, it, it actually might make our battle stations temporarily weaker. Because they're not going to be packing miniaturized uh, Merculites anymore. They're going to be doing full-size Xeons, which is maybe not ideal. Let's get the Neutronium Armor, then I think we are going to go down the construction tree here. Alright. They only have a single cruiser? Okay, well, we'll go ahead and scare that off. And then they've got more ships coming. Ooh, huge food deficiency. And food replicators. I don't know, we may as well build the biospheres. Okay, scare these guys off as well. Oh, that's right, there were pirates in the Colden system, but we left some ships there, so they went away. Forgot about that. Uh, we've got Plasma Cannon Tech, which again, excellent weapon. We have a lot of money, too. Okay, new fleet has just arrived. We just insta-kill those guys, the transports, which is nice to see. Okay, none of their ships are coming our way anymore, which is good. Uh, we can't go directly for their capital. So we'll go to Caleb, conquer that, and then maybe we'll boop their capital at that point. Because it's really going to go and diminish their ability to, to do war. They do have missile-based tech, which can be kind of scary. What we're going to do here is I'm going to intentionally uh, do one Rand manual where I target the starbase. Because... Um, if you target the planet, you can kill the missile base by targeting the planet, but um, killing the missile base won't cause the missiles to be re redirected because you can actually just blind fire at a planet to do bombardment damage to it. So I think it's really important for us to make sure the star base itself gets killed. Now I'll auto because we got the one vo volley going there. The star base itself, I want to make sure it gets properly targeted as soon as possible. And then excess missiles will go to the planet and finish off the missile base, both of which have to die for us to win this battle officially. Ooh, that is a lot of missiles that hit us in the face. So this is gonna be, this actually might eliminate this planet. We might not actually be able to conquer it. Actually. Cause that, um, <clears throat> wow, that's a, uh, whoo, that's a lot of damage. Oh boy, oh baby. Uh, Neutronium armor, uranium fuel cell, which we stole earlier. And the on missiles, which we also stole. We are going to want to go for some upgrades there. I don't think we need the Thorium Fuel Cells, so we'll probably just get even better armor. Um, although it is nice when you can go literally everywhere with mat like with full range, which actually the Thoriums don't oh, it have the unlimited fuel spell. They do. Um, I think you can get fuel supplies from the Guardian as well. I'm not sure, but we may as well grab the armor. I think we're going to we're gonna appreciate it more. What I might do over here is plan for a couple of outpost ships so we can just grab some random territory in case we run out of uh, fuel range. So we're going to do this. We'll put in a cut here, but we're going to keep plucking away at the silicoids. But yeah, we, we don't have reach over here, and that might be a problem. What we need to do is find one of their planets that doesn't have any ground defenses or is completely undefended, and then we will do a invasion at that point. And that will give us what we need. But push comes to shove, we can also get it through our um, through our, our little colony base or outpost ships, which is also going to be very useful. Uh, what we're going to do here, just before we end, I'm going to go and do this and this. Buy the Robo Plant. Buy the Recyclotron. Uh, buy the Astro University. Yeah, there we go. That works for me. These guys over here working on housing. Let's make sure they've got... Hollow Simulator, into Soil Enrichment, into Terraforming, Autolab, then you can, oops, then you can go back into Housing, and then we'll see, and you over here in Musator, 
You're poor, so actually getting you to farm is good. But yeah, I was going to say, you could really use another boost over here. Robo Miner Plant, Hollow Simulator, Gravity Generator, Atmosphere Renewer, University, Soil Enrichment, Weather Controller. So you don't use as many people for farming. And... I mean, we may as well put the Weather Controller in the queue on Drossel. Not that you're doing a lot of farming right now, but it's we may as well. No reason not to have it everywhere. Okay, I think I'm kind of okay with this. Um, let me pull the farmer out here to work on the battle station a little faster. We'll try to keep an eye on it in case we need to respond with defensive troops. Uh, we might have cleared some territory, some more places we can colonize as well with actual just colony ships. But I'm going to move my transport fleets over here. Okay, now let's put in a cut. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. Next time, hopefully we can actually reach the homeworld of the Silicoids. See you then. Bye-bye.